what's up guys? How are you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Random Pick Day. My favourite day of the week. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, I've got three special players today. I decided to go between... I think it was something like 30k and 50k. Yeah, those were the exact price ranges. But the quality of the items were all special. So we're going to get at least in forms. Uh, and on page number three, our first player, or our highest rated player for the random pick player, is 86 rated centre pack in form Socrates, who actually looks pretty damn awesome. So I was excited to use him today. Uh, and we go to page number seven for our second random pick player. 84 is the highest rate on this page, and uh, we go for Orellana. There were a couple of options. I think Lopez in goal was an option, but Orellana, the Chilean winger in La Liga, is the one we go for. Uh, and then finally, on page number 11, I believe it is, the highest rated player on that page is 85 rated in form Mario Mandzukic. So, uh, we have got three special items and we can build a team around them. Uh, now, as soon as I realise, okay, I've got one centre-back uh, like that I need to, to fit into the team. I've got like a winger and a striker. I'd love to get them involved as much as possible. Obviously, the 4-3-2-1 came to mind and I had an idea of a squad I wanted to build with it. So, that is what I went for today. Uh, I think I went for... I go for this formation a lot because it is one of my favourites. Uh, hopefully, next week, I'm going to try and get away from this a little bit and build something slightly different. Um, but this is the formation I've gone with today. Uh, right centre-back for Socrates, right forward and striker for the other two, of course. And then this is what the squad itself looks like. Um, we've got Berkey in goal and Socrates is going to be... Um, linked up chemistry-wise by two of his teammates from Dortmund, Pizcek and Berkey in goal. I've then got like a little triangle of French Premier League players. We've got Koscielny, Clichy and Kante. Um, just to make another league part of this different, uh, this different team. And then Socrates then is our first random pick player. He's 86 rated as a centre-back. He's got 80 pace. 88 defending and 87 physical. That is decent. And he's six foot one, medium, medium work rates. To me, that almost feels like a team of the season style item there. He's got really, really good stats. Can't wait to see what he's like in game. Kante then, Medel, and this guy Hernandez in midfield, who is a perfect link to Orellana. Uh, three hard workers in the middle there, like that. And we've then got Perisic at left forward. He's a Croatian playing in Serie A, which gets a link to Mandzukic enough that he doesn't need other chemistry. But our second round of pick player is Fabian Orellana. He's 84 rated, uh, and he's got 85 pace, 87 dribbling, 78 shooting, and 81 passing. Four-star skills and weak foot. I believe when I went to the capture event and used his regular version he had five star weak foot so it kind of sucks that they downgraded him somewhat um, but he still looks to be a decent player and then Mario Mandzukic 85 rated on this particular item only 72 pace but he has got 84 shooting and 88 physical and of course he is six foot three high high work rates on him though is that something to bear in mind and be probably a little bit worried about maybe he's going to push back as well as getting forward whereas I just want him to stay up top be a target man when he's six foot three and doesn't have much pace about him so that right there is the squad. It is like one, two, three, four different leagues and a bunch of different nations. So it's quite a nice different team. Uh, and of course, you could get the regular versions of these cards if you didn't want to splash out on the informs. However, uh, after playing a bunch of games with this team, I had one of the worst sessions I think I've ever had, which sucks. Uh, by the way, I can't believe that goal went in. Pizcek like headed it and Larice caught it and walked into his own net. What's going on there? I would be pissed if that goal went in against me. Uh, but yeah, that was a brilliant goal by Clichy. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I did a triple tap, but for some reason, Kante played it to the edge of the box, uh, which I was a little bit mad about. And then Clichy went and did that, and I, I was no longer mad. That was a brilliant goal. Probably the best goal we scored with the team. Actually, another good goal was from Medel. Um, and probably the thing you're noticing is that my main random pick players so far aren't getting particularly involved. And that was definitely the case. By like a mile, the best player in this team was the guy scoring goals now, Perisic. He, he got involved and he did score goals. Whereas like the other two up front, Orellana and Mandzukic, were a lot of work. It was a struggle for them to really sort of just do anything, which... 
I wasn't expecting. Uh, I've used like Mandzukic in the past, Team of the Season versions last year, I think, or the year before. Um, normally, he surprises me and does a great job. You know, he can finish the ball, if anything. He might not have the best pace in the world. Uh, and then Orellana, I've loved his regular version every time I've used it. He's really quick. He's got great dribbling. But in this particular session when I was playing, they were just two of the worst players on my team. I really, really didn't get along with them as much as I thought I would do, which kind of sucks. Now, I think I played like eight games with this team, and we might even be struggling to put 10 goals uh, in the entire video, which isn't good. Like, that that just shows you how much of a bad session I had. I think I scored five goals in one match as well. So for me to get like four or five goals in the other seven matches I played shows you how much of a poor session I was having whilst playing this game. Uh, I think, I don't really know what the root cause was because I actually liked my defenders. I just kept losing. Uh, I liked my defense itself. The midfield may have gone a little bit haywire and then up front it was just a little bit lackluster apart from Perisic. But in goal, like Berkey did a decent job. He, he does let some goals in because, you know, every keeper does. But actually, I thought he was quite solid and I would recommend you guys using him. He is a decent keeper and of course he doesn't cost much at all. Uh, Clichy is fantastic. I love him at left back. And Pizcek is very, very strong, very solid. He's just not the quickest of players. Uh, but that is made up for by the fact we got two rapid centre-backs. Koscielny was great. I love him on this game. Uh, and then Socrates. Well, Socrates I can't rate badly in this particular game. Uh, four and a half star value for money, nine out of ten. Like, I paid just over 40k for an 86 rated brilliant looking centre-back on this game. So was really happy about that. And I think he is a great player. Kante in the middle, definitely a hard worker. Medel and uh, Hernandez didn't do great for me, I'm not going to lie. Perisic was good, I like him, he got involved. But Orellana, as you can see, 8 games, 0 goals, 1 assist. Not good enough, my friend. 2.5 star value for money and a 6 out of 10. That right there might just be the worst rating I've given a random pick player so far on FIFA 17. Um, and then Mandzukic gets a slightly higher value for money because he did contribute somewhat. Um, three star value for money, six and a half out of ten. In my book, I think that is slightly below average. Like, I would class him as slightly below average on this game, in this particular performance anyway. I might go ahead and use some of these players again sometime and get on with them, like, really, really well. Everything might just click. But today, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um... Let me know, guys. If you're the sort of person that goes ahead and builds these random pick squads every week once I've built them and test them out for yourself, let me know if you've had any success with these players because I'd be interested in that. Make sure, of course, most importantly, you have a great Sunday. And, of course, uh, you know, smash a like on the video if you've enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Have a good day. I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.